Hey guys, today we're going to be using 6-7 lines of code in an HT access file to limit access to your WordPress backend, but still allowing people in your office to be able to access the backend, work with posts and pages as per normal. Uh, it is a pretty advanced uh, topic uh, and you would require access to the WordPress files either through cPanel or some other interface, SSH or FTP. If you feel uncomfortable with that kind of technology, I would recommend getting in a developer to do this work for you. But if you have a bit of knowledge and you want to go forward and protect your WordPress admin, I'm going to take you through the process now. Okay, so this is the normal uh, uh, login screen for WordPress. Literally, I'll just type in WP admin over here. And this is the, the login screen that will appear to actually log on to the website. Now, currently at the moment, this is actually open to anybody on the internet. And what we want to do is we actually want to restrict access to to this uh, to this backend, but just use, just using a quite a simple file. We're going to be using an HT access file. Uh, for for you that anyone that doesn't know, uh, this is essentially an HT access file here. It's, this is quite a long one. Uh, this is uh, the standard one for this server, and it's, it's restricting access to quite a few few things. Uh, essentially, your website generally is, is hosted on an Apache server uh, and an HTA access file is just a way of communicating with your, your Apache server to do certain functions for you. Uh, so what we're going to do is, I'm just going to create the HTA access file, uh, put in the, the six, seven lines of code to protect, protect the site, then we'll go look at the, if the WP admin is working, uh, and we'll, I'll take you through that process, then I'll put in the IP address for my, my internet and we'll be able to open access to to that server but here we go guys okay so essentially here's here's the, uh, the WP admin so I'm just going to open an editor offline I'm using uh, a Visual Studio code uh, from Microsoft this is a free product that you that you can that you can get okay so let's go here so I'm just going to create a, a new file over here I'm going to call it .ht access. Uh, you've got to be quite careful uh, that on some on some servers uh, you won't be able to see a .ht access file. It actually is hidden. Uh, so uh, generally through an FTP or this kind of program you can view it, but you know sometimes it is hidden and you may have to set up your machine so you can see hidden files. Okay, so here we go. Here's the the ht access file. Now I'm going to copy in the, the six, seven lines of code that are actually going to be used to protect that, that folder. Literally there it is. Uh, now if you look there, there's out in the, the internet there's generally two, two versions of Apache. There's 2.4 and there's 2.2. Uh, that's generally the common ones. Uh, and with these, these lines of code here, you can actually protect both. And we're using if, if statements to say if it's Apache 2.4, then do this, and if it's Apache 2.2, then do that. So it makes, makes life very, very easy actually going forward. Uh, I'm not going to put in an IP address for the time being. You can see that this part here is the IP address that you would use to uh, for, for your site. You can, get, you can pick up your IP address by just going to Google and typing in my IP. So I'll, I'll take you through that quickly. And there we go. And it's showing me my, my public IP address. This is the IP address that uh, is used by, by at my internet service provider. Uh, if you're in a pretty large office, you may have, have a static uh, IP address, uh, which you would need for this. Uh, if you have a dynamic IP address, doesn't really work. There are ways and means around it, but that's beyond the scope of, of this video. So what, there's the IP address there. I'm just gonna close that quickly. I'm going to go back to here and we can see this file here. So literally I'm going to save it. Now I did, I did explain in the beginning that you would need like a, a cPanel access. This is, this is essentially cPanel here. Uh, and you would need access to the a file manager over here, correctly over here. I'm not going to be using it this way, but this is just another way of doing the same thing. Uh, you can go public HTML. Generally most sites are stored in the public HTML folder. And this is the folder here that we're trying to protect, the WP admin. That is the primary way of, of 
interfacing with uh, WordPress from an administration point of view. So you can do your plugin upgrades, you can add, add new posts, you can add new pages, you can do theme, uh, uh, work with your theme. So it's the way of working with the site. And what we're trying to do is just hide that completely from the internet. So what you do is just double click on it, and here's all the folders. Uh, I want to make a new file, I just click up at the top here, and I say .ht access. I'm, I'm not gonna go through that process, because we're actually gonna be doing it offline. And, uh, and uploading it, and then I'll show you how it appears here on, on, on the server. So let's just go here. I'm pretty happy with that file as it is. I'm, like I said, it's got XXX at the moment, which is not ideal, but I'm just using it as a, a demonstration purposes how we lock it, we're gonna lock ourselves out of the website. Let's make sure that that's saved. Uh, I use FileZilla for as my FTP program. Uh, I've been using it for years, I'm very, very happy with it, uh, very, very rock solid, and it gets upgraded quite often, and it's, it's available for Windows, Linux, and for Mac. So here we go here, this is the folder this, that we're trying to protect, WP Admin, so I'm going to go into the WP Admin folder. Here's the HD Access file that I'd created over here, and all I've got to do is just drag and drop on there. And there we go. now we've got the HTA access file. So remember that the WP admin folder that we did see earlier. I'm just going to type it here. I'm going to hit enter. And it should go nowhere. It, it literally will stop working completely. It, it'll have redirect issue, issue problems, things like that. As you can see, this is exactly what happens. It, can't get into that directory, it's completely hidden, absolutely hidden from, from everybody on the internet. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add my, my static IP address to that file and then upload it. So I actually have created that file earlier and it's done. And I'm just gonna move that across to here, inside that, inside that folder. Let's go back to this WP admin, hit enter. And there we go. Now I have access to, to the website again. So literally with, I think it's about nine lines of code, we've actually limited access to, to that site. You can add m multiple IP addresses. So if you've got a, a few developers and, you've got, and people are working from home, you actually can add them all in here. Great way of protecting your site. Uh, HTA Access is, is a great file because you, you're working directly with the server. Uh, it does come with a few issues. Uh, like it, with, with Power comes great responsibility because you literally can bring down the site. And if it's a high volume site, you know, your boss could get angry. Lots of things can happen. But the nice thing about it is if you just remember what you've done, just delete the file and the site will come back again. That's how simple WordPress is. It's, it's, it's a great way, uh, if you do something wrong, just undo what you've done and it'll all come back again. We're not working with the database, we're not working with the actual WordPress files, we're essentially just working with the server. I hope you enjoyed uh, that instructional video on, on how to work with the HTA access file and, and protect your, your WP admin folder. I have included links below in the comments uh, in, in the show more section for this video, linking through to where you can download the file yourself and then you can work with uh, some instructions with it and any links that, that are required in the site for this actual video. But listen guys, I hope, you, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you have a great week. Please subscribe to our channel if you like it. Please hit the bell icon to be uh, notified when we, we upload more uh, videos. But have a great week guys. Chat soon. Bye.